What's up everybody? I've got a couple of Bibles I want to show you guys I'm really excited about. These two Bibles, as you can see from the camera angles, uh, these are the New King James Classic Verse by Verse Center Column Reference Bibles. Uh, one is in the black leather soft uh, without indexing and the other is the brown leather soft that has the thumb indexing. The black leather soft without thumb indexing retails for $60 and the brown with thumb indexing retails for $70. And I'll have links to all those in the description. So let's take a look at each one of these individually. So let's open up this black leather soft edition. It is the non-indexed edition. They come in this clamshell box and on the back of the box, it has a lot of the features. You have the example of the text and the ISBN there. You see the features include the verse style scripture format, Thomas Nelson's complete cross-reference system, the words of Christ in red. You have a concordance, the Smith's own binding, the two satin ribbon markers and their double-sided satin ribbon markers and the easy to read 10 point print size. This Bible shows a lot of the attentiveness of the Thomas Nelson publishers and Bible producers. Let's look at some examples of how the Thomas Nelson Bible team and their publishers have improved on the design. We'll start by the spine. The spine has a really decorative nature. It doesn't have raised ribs per se. It has raised sections and actually the ribs, what you would normally see as the ribs are actually indented into the spine. So it has a really cool feel. Now, one thing to note is that neither one of these additions have a significant amount of spine reinforcement. That could be a problem in the future but it does allow the addition to lay perfectly flat. Furthermore, on the cover, it has this double perimeter edge stitching. That is really cool. I've never seen that. This double line perimeter stitching for extra security. It also looks really cool. I do like the understated Holy Bible on the spine and on the cover. Now the addition, because it doesn't have a tremendous amount of spine reinforcement and it's a sewn binding, it lays flat right out of the box. So here's the example uh, of the Bible laying right out of the box. I mean, just beautifully. There's the title page. Also, the ribbons show a lot of the attentiveness of the Bible team. These are double faced satin ribbons. And these are no measly ribbons. These are 10 millimeter double faced satin ribbons of really high quality. So let's turn back to the front and I can show you uh, this edition from start to finish. So upon opening the edition, you have this uh, nice gold paper paste down that matches the uh, gold presentation page. You have your title pages and your publication information. You can see this is a 2019 printing printed in China and it is the New King James Classic Verse by Verse Center Column Reference Bible. This does have the Comfort Print typeface produced by 2K Denmark. You have a table of contents, a preface, and then you get to your text. Now taking a look at Genesis, you can see that you have a dual color printing. You have Genesis or the name of the book in this nice crimson red. You have your section headings in red, your chapter and verse numbers in red. That's awesome. You also have a book introduction the layout is a double column, a verse by verse layout, which is the most popular preaching layout. And you also have center column references. 
Now the references also have red indicators for the verse that it corresponds with. As we turn through, you can just see the beauty of this text. It is line matched, and this is the 36 GSM paper. The only improvement that I would love to see would be drop caps. I would love to see the large, uh, instead of the large chapter number, to have that large first letter like you would see in the classic King James editions. But this is splendid. I'm going to do some comparisons between this Bible and the Preaching Bible. Now, the Preaching Bible has their references at the bottom, but it's also a double column verse by verse. So it's really a matter of preference whether you would prefer the Preaching Bible or the verse by verse classic reference Bible. As we turn to the Gospels, I want to show you guys the red letter, how nice it is. Thomas Nelson red letter is perhaps the best version of the red letter. All right, when you pass Revelation 22, you'll come to your concordance. Now this concordance is awesome. It's a three column concordance. You have the, the dual color continued into the concordance. You see concordance in red, the area of the alphabet, in red, the, the word in a bold. You see it continued, you have the area at the top in red, and you see the words in bold. This concordance is about 150 pages, and it has a ton of helps, tons of helps. At the end of the concordance, you come to just a, a white sheet that I guess you could put notes on. And then you have another blank sheet, but on the back of that second blank sheet, you have a note regarding the type. And this talks about the New King James typeface, the comfort print typeface. It also describes the design choices when coming up with the New King James comfort print type. After you get done with the note regarding the type, which I really wish this note was in the front of the Bible, even right beside the publication information, I would love for that to be there. Uh, I've been asking for that. I know it's not typical, but it's very helpful. Uh, when you put it in the front of the Bible, it shows the consumer, the reader, that it's important. And, and there was a lot of work that went into it. And I think the New King James comfort print is probably the most attractive comfort print. Uh, it's definitely great to read from. After the note regarding the type, we come to the Bible maps. Now these Bible maps are on glossy cardstock, which I abhor, but they're really great maps. They are very detailed, uh, very easy to follow, very intuitive. And after the Bible maps, you get to your end sheet, which is white on one side and gold on the other. And you can see that back uh, paper paste down that gold color. And again, the continuation of that double sewn perimeter stitching. I think that's just really cool. The gilding is really nice. Now mine came with a little, a little ding on the guild, uh, but it's not terrible. But the gilding's pretty nice and the feel is really awesome now this thing is mega 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 flexible super flexible and it is just really really floppy that's good and it could have uh it could have potential problems in the future since there's a, a lack of spine reinforcement you could start seeing some separation between the signatures in the text, or you could start seeing some big time wear on this paste down hinge, uh, but time will tell, time will tell. So let's take a look at the brown edition. This is the black edition. Let's take a look at the brown edition with the thumb indexing. And there's the box for the thumb index edition. And I saved the best for last, in my opinion, because I love brown Bibles. And this spine has so much character. 
you have the areas that are uh, impressed, uh, which is a little bit different than the black. The black has uh, these areas, single areas that are impressed, and the brown has these double impressions with this center uh, artistic line raised rib that goes uh, beside it or through it. Super nice. I think the brown's a little nicer than the black. Uh, like the paneling for these raised panels, I think it looks really sharp. But I do like that the impressed areas on this leather soft material uh, turn a darker color. So you have these this lighter, almost look like a, a marble brown uh, material. And then these areas where they're impressed, they are a darker brown. Just looks really sharp. The only other differences uh, between it and the black edition is that it has a brown and red ribbon. Again, both of these are double faced satin ribbons. And with the brown edition, you get a brown and red. With the black edition, you get a black and a red. And here's a shot of the thumb indexing. You have your Old Testament books and New Testament all in black. Yeah, sometimes you'll see the New Testament in red, but all these are gonna be in black with gold imprinting. You have a thumb index tab for your concordance, as well as your maps. And that's about it, really. Uh, these two are exceptional. I am so very impressed with these editions. I look forward to being able to review the Premier Collection Edition because I know that they made even more improvements on that one. They have the raised ribs. The spine looks a little different. It looks better. It looks more uh, premium as compared to other premium Bibles. So I'm really looking forward to it. And with regard to the type, the text, the layout, this classic reference is classic. It's exactly that. I just love the way they did this really impressed with the work that was put in on this bible a few notes for improvement or potential ideas for the future on verse by verse editions like this uh, that 10 point type is awesome these bibles with a typeface that big they're going to be used for preaching so it would be nice to have a little slightly larger margin and it would be nice to have lined paper in the back or in the front either way find a way to put some lined paper in these please uh, these are going to be used by pastors for decades and having these editions with lined paper or with additional pages for adding um, formats and reference materials uh, doctrinal stuff theological stuff to have in your text that's a huge benefit for the preacher. So even though I know this is not a preaching Bible per se, this Bible is going to be used as a preaching Bible. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section. And as always, make sure you subscribe if you like the content of the channel, and also click the notification tab so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching. God bless.